of Alex Jürgen here, Oskeko for Juliet Hotel Whiskey. Check out what I recently found again in my ham radio treasure box. It's a TNC2 multi. These uh, TNCs were used uh, for packet radio a long time ago. And this one's made by a company called IFD, uh, India Fox Delta in Germany in the early 2000s. So let's have a closer look. Let's have a brief look into the manual first. As I mentioned before, this one's made in Germany by the company called IFD. And according to the date down here, it's made in the early 2000s. The manual is from May 2003. Uh, let's scroll down a bit. Sorry, it's in German. I found no English manual. Here's the, the wiring and so on. And here are the technical data. Uh, here we have the data rate. And oh, that's interesting. The controller is a, a C80. So let's have a look inside. Okay, here we are inside of the TNC2. And that's interesting. There are two Psylog uh, chips inside here. One is the CPU, the C80. And the other chip is a C80SIO, that's the serial input output chip. Down here we have the EEPROM for the firmware. And there is another EEPROM and there is a Nord Link 6 pack written on it. And according to my web search, uh, six pack is a transmission protocol uh, between the TNC and the PC, uh, which was made by Delta Foxtrot 4 Oscar Radio. And there are some advantages using uh, this protocol. And I've asked me what this switch on the back side is good for. And the previous owner has uh, written normal and I think that means six pack on it. So here you can change the, the protocols. I bought this TNC um, around about 15 years ago together with this beautiful ICOM IC910H. And fortunately I still have this original cable made by the previous owner. And I also found a serial cable which goes under the table and uh, there is a four port serial to USB adapter. So let's hook it up and see what's going on. Everything's connected. We have a red LED indicating we have power. And now we should see these two LEDs light up one is uh, for data carrier detected that's 9k6 and the second led is for 1k2 that's 1200 baud i am actually here on the european aprs frequency let's get over to the computer and see if we can decode a signal we are here on my windows 11 machine and I found an old packet radio program made by Delta Juliet for Uniform Foxtrot back in January 2001. And it's called Paxon or Paxon in Germany. I've already downloaded it and installed it. And the uh, first thing we have to do is go to settings. Sorry folks, this is all in German, but I talk you through. And here we have to set a call sign. Oscar Echo for Juliet Hotel Whiskey Dash 6, let's say. Hit apply and OK. Next thing we have to do is add a device. Let's go to devices, add a device. This one's running in host mode. So select host mode and add. Click on properties and select the proper COM port. In my case, it's COM8 at a baud rate of 19,200. 
and I also have to set the values to initialize and deinitialize the TNC. I found uh, these values on the internet. Let's copy and paste them into here. Uh, T20 means uh, the TX delay uh, equals 200 milliseconds. Maybe that's a bit high, but we can change this later on. I don't know what A1 and E1 means, I'm sorry. And for deinitialize the TNC, we say U2, that means the TNC is offline. Let's click OK. Hit OK. And the TNC answers. T20 is OK, A1 is OK, E1 is OK. Let's click OK and let's see if we can connect the Digipeter. I found the Digipeter near Vienna and let's try to connect it on 70 centimeters. Oh, as I turned on the radio, uh, there are already some packets received. Let's try to connect it. Oscar Echo 1 Extra Alpha Radio is the station call sign. My own call sign, Oscar Echo 4 Juliet Hotel Whiskey. And let's try to connect. And we are connected. That was easy. Okay, what uh, commands do we have here? Let's click Help. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm? Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Now it's working. It took a while. Maybe the Digibeater was busy. What else can we do? Let's look which destinations we have here. Enter D and enter. D for destination. And there is also a mailbox. I think we should connect the mailbox later. I haven't done this for 20 years or so. So maybe uh, there are still some messages for me took about one and a half minutes to list all the destinations the Digipeter knows. So as you see, this is not the fastest uh, way of data communication. Let's go to the mailbox and have a look if there are messages for me. A few moments later. Yeah, I'm now trying to reconnect directly. Uh, using the command C for connect OE1XAB, but uh, there's another link failure. So maybe the mailbox is not online anymore or it's not online now. I don't know. Let's try to connect another Digipeter. Um, let's take Delta Bravo Zero Alpha Alpha Tango. So let's see, Delta Bravo, Zero, Alpha, Alpha, Tango, Enter. Connected. Hey, that's great. That was really fast. And we've quit. We should send a disconnect. And yeah, we are reconnected to OE1XAR. Let's try another one. What about this uh, node in Canada? Connect Victor Echo 3 Mike Charlie Hotel. Oops, not quit. Okay, now I'm disconnected from the repeater. That was my fault. Let's connect again. And we are connected.
Let's try it again. Connect Victor Echo 3 Mike Charlie Hotel. Of course, this is going over the internet. One eternity later. I think this is not working. Let's try something different. Let's try Converse. That's uh, chatting on packet radio. The command is slash conf for Converse. And we are connected and there are three users online. That's interesting. Let's uh, and uh, help for help. And I think there is a command to list all users. And the command is slash who or slash w so slash w enter and there are some users on here but i'm not sure if they are connected via packet radio maybe this at means they are connected via the internet i don't know I have no experience with this. I haven't done this for 20 or 25 years. Okay, let's um, get out of here. To leave the conversation, we have to type slash Q for quit. And we are out of it. And let's leave the Digipeter Q for quit. And we are disconnected. This was a brief look back into the days of packet radio and there are certainly more things we could do with this device but that's another story. Thank you so much for watching 73.